hello and welcome to cracksoid i am back with another video and in this video i am going to do a review of spark os version 13.4 which is based on latest android 30 and comes with latest january 5 2023 security update i have installed this rom on redmi note 9 pro max but you can use it on any mi tool devices as well this latest spark os 13.4 is rolling out for many other devices too so if you don't want to miss the features, customizations, change logs, benchmark score and many more then watch this video till the end. So now without further ado, let's start. As you can see this is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. You can see the Spark OS version 13.4. This is the official update. Also, this Spark OS is running on latest Android 13. You can see the Android security update is of January 5, 2023. And the Lineage OS kernel is used in this ROM. So, first of all, I'll show the Antutu benchmark score of this ROM. And as you can see, the score is 365705, which is a pretty good score. After Antutu, I'll show the safety net status and it has passed the safety net compatibility test and on play protect certification device is certified as well now after safety net i'll show the geekbench score result and the score for single core is 567 and the score for multi core is 1596 now after this geekbench score i'll show the cpu throttling test results i have run a test for five minutes two times back to back and at first no any cpu throttling was detected and also for the second time no any throttling was detected now i'll show the camera used in this room and this room has graphene camera used which also have qr scan features and you can take 4k videos from this camera this camera has limited features but it works fine also for better picture quality you can use google camera too i have tried using latest gcam 8.7 and it is working without any errors and i thought you can do auto call record from its phone dialer but when i tap on sounds and vibration it opens system sound setting and when you tap on display or about phone the dialer crashes but calling is working this spark OS has very few apps pre-installed and both vanilla and gf's version of this room are available and while scrolling and swiping i'm not facing any lags or you can see the app opening and closing speed on this room tell me in comment section how is the app opening and closing speed and in its app drawer you will find the game space option which has now become a most needed feature for many users and in google photos app you will get an unlimited photos and videos uploading feature which is also a good thing and inside wallpapers and styles you'll find lots of spark wallpapers as well another wallpapers inside it and android 13 new features like wallpaper colors and basic colors are also present with dark theme theme icon and app grid and from its widget you can use clock widget but android 13 clocks are not present there and talking about launcher it has spark launcher used in this room and you can use split screen from its recent app section but freeform is still missing there and inside its home screen quick space section is added which have some new settings like at a glance random messages extent style now playing and weather condition and if you don't know about this at a glance or random messages then i'll show this to you this is basically a game widget on your home screen where you will see date weather or calendar with some random messages as you can see here on the screen also if you don't want the android 13 google bar which is shifted towards the bottom of the screen then you can do that from here and in recent sections there is lens option on quick action and this works as well also now you can change memory information position from bottom to left and inside miscellaneous use task mark is present but parallel space is not included here but is available in another place and this is how quick setting panel looks like this is typical android 13 qs panel which has setting and power menu icon shifted at the bottom and it has styles like cpu info nearby share preferred network 
and scan QR code but this scan QR is not working in it now let's see what's new inside its setting section at first there is private DNS inside Wi-Fi network section but this private DNS does not include custom DNS that now many custom rooms are providing inside its display no such changes is made in it you will get dark theme without any custom dark theme present but you can schedule it and from app setting you can access to game space as well as parallel space feature inside battery you'll get a battery bar animation and nothing happens when you tap on it and here you will find battery uses view uses for past 24 hours battery saver adaptive preferences idle manager and battery temperature and this idle manager will stop all non-important background processes when device is not in use and in this room also extreme battery saver is present which is inside its battery saver and for lock screen security you will get both face as well as fingerprint unlock feature and device is encrypted and from privacy setting you will get lots of privacy related features like privacy dashboard permission manager, camera access, and many more. And from system navigation, you will get two buttons, three buttons, and gesture navigation. And in button navigation, home for assistant and inverse layout is present. And in gesture navigation settings, there are lots of features included and including advanced gesture option and hide IME button space. And inside gestures, other as usual features like quickly open camera, one-handed mode, press and hold power button for power menu or digital assistant is present. And you can also adjust press and hold duration is present which many ROM does not offer. And our best feature like swipe to screenshot, playback control and double tap to check phone is present. And inside system, updater option is not present which means you cannot directly update to latest version through OTA updates. This Spark OS has its own customization section from where you can do lots of customization on your phone. They have named it Fireworks. Here you will find unique looking theme for doing customizations that no other rooms provide. At first, there is themes option and inside it, there is Monet engine from where you can do lots of customizations related to colors. Also, custom theme option is present here from where you can choose up to six different custom themes. Also, if you want to change the layout of setting style, then you can do it from here. And this have five different layout available of main menu setting. And if you scroll down below, you will find lots of customizations related to theme setting. And one bug that they need to fix here is that when you enter into any of its customization section and go to step back, then it will send us to main menu setting instead of its firework section. Talking about its customizations, from its lock screen setting, you can enable custom lock screen clock color option. Also, you can select between lots of unique clock font styles which looks really good on lock screen section. Also, ambient always on display customization is available from where you can enable music ticker option and also you can make an ambient text to appear on always on display section. I'll enable it and type custom text. You can also select custom color for it and as you can also see it will appear on lock screen always on display mode which looks really cool. And for this you need to enable double tap to check phone setting from system setting. There is option for ambient image but this does not seem to work. Now I'll jump to status bar setting and from here you can enable network traffic indicator, logo, colored icons in notifications combined signal icons and lots of other status bar related features and inside gesture toggle torch when screen is off is present with other gesture features and inside power menu disable power menu unlock screen option with power menu animation is present and there are altogether 11 different power menu animations available and at last there is miscellaneous from where you can change notification and battery light settings also you can set up weather settings in this spark OS, which other custom room does not provide and below you will find other features like unlimited photo storage unlock higher fps in games option 
and in general section there is smart pixels option present which will save battery by sorting off extra pixels and will reduce power consumption also this new hide squiggle animation option is present which will basically remove this squiggle animation that we used to get while playing media also there is add block option but i'm not sure how much does it work if you know then you can comment down below but the one thing that surely work is this ignore window secure flags option and this will allow us to take screenshot and do screen record on any applications and at last there is blink flashlight for incoming calls present so this spark os has lots of customizations available in it yesterday i have reviewed rice droid which also have tons of customizations in it and i think this spark os has even more customization settings included Overall, this Spark OS official version is stable and have tons of customizations. So you should try this room if you are thinking to switch into a different room. So what do you think about this Spark OS? You can comment down your thoughts and suggestions on comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to Cracksway YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.